Eric Scherfin was an infantryman on the front lines in the first Gulf War, even as a signed photograph of himself with the first President Bush. He later became a National Guard helicopter pilot, and after his discharge, got a job as a pilot with a small commuter airline. Then last April, his employer told him he was on a watch list. He was banned from the cockpit and was told he would lose his job September 1st, unless he clears his name. My entire career depends on me getting off this list. I probably won't be able to get a, a job anywhere else in the world having this mark that I'm on this list, this undetermined list. Sherfin is a convert to Islam. His wife, Rabina Tareen, an American citizen, was born in Pakistan. She sells Islamic books and DVDs. It's mainstream. It's a very moderate uh, kind of uh, perspective on Islam. They have both been delayed at airports and borders, told by security personnel they are on a list. Are you guys terrorists? No. No. Do you associate with people who are terrorists? No. Do you give money to any organization which might have terrorist links? Not at all. Why do you believe you may be on a list? At this time, we do not know. That's the problem. Maybe uh, because I'm a Muslim and because, because of my ethnicity. They have tried to find out. In May, they wrote to the Department of Homeland Security. In June, to the Transportation Security Administration Traveler Redress Program. This week, after publicizing their plight by filing a lawsuit, they finally got a number to track their case. The TSA has set up a complaint system where you basically put your complaint and it goes into a black hole uh, and you get no response, you get nowhere, and bottom line is it's just, it is not the kind of effective process that the Constitution demands when the government is going to take away your life, liberty, or property.